Hello, and welcome to the Confluence Cloud Difference. My name is Jacob, and I'm a product marketing manager for migrations at Atlassian. And today, I'll be walking you through a demo that outlines the key differences between Confluence Server and Confluence Cloud, and why teams are making the move to cloud. But before we dive in, I want to chat about something we often hear people say. A big misconception of Confluence Cloud is that people think it's just the Confluence Server product on the cloud, which is actually a myth. In reality, Confluence Cloud is an advanced version of the Confluence your team already knows and loves. While it has the familiarity of Confluence Server, our cloud version receives the vast majority of Atlassian investment and is constantly getting new features that improve the way teams work. But we know change is hard. Migrating to cloud products takes effort and it changes the way your admins and users work. But we found the impact from moving from server to cloud to be massive for teams. The first reason being ease of use of Confluence Cloud. The most common thing I probably hear from users is how much cleaner and more intuitive the new cloud editor is, which allows for much quicker and easier content creation. Second, collaboration is drastically different. In cloud, you can have multiple editors working together on a page, inline comments while in edit mode, smart links, and more. And finally, on cloud, you get the full power of our Confluence Cloud mobile app and cloud-only apps for Confluence. I'll dive deeper into those later in the demo. But let's jump into the product and see exactly how the experience is different. Welcome to Confluence Cloud. The first thing you might notice when entering Confluence Cloud is how different the home page is. The UI is designed to be cleaner, sleeker, and more intuitive. The news feed is designed to suggest pages that you might be interested in and accessing directly from the home page, whether they are pages that you're following or pages that are popular with other users. You can also now see and access unpublished drafts directly from the homepage to quickly pick up where you left off. You'll also notice how the top navigation bars has changed. The biggest thing I wanna call out is how easy it is to find and access recently worked on pages. We all know how great Confluence is for documentation, but sometimes there's a lot of pages and you remember recently reviewing or working on a page, but can't quite remember which one it is. Under Recents, you can view pages that you recently visited, pages that you worked on, drafts that you've worked on, or pages you might have starred. Now, let's get into where the real magic happens with cloud, creating and editing pages. On Confluence Server, pages can only be created from the global navigation. In Confluence Cloud, pages can be created from within the page tree and even edited or moved from within a page tree. You can also drag and drop to reorder pages. But let's jump in and actually create a page. First up, you'll notice that when you create a page, on the right-hand side, we have templates. On server, there were virtually no templates available. On cloud, there are over 100 templates, which you can preview before selecting. These are huge time savers for teams who consistently need to leverage existing formats and not have to build from scratch every time. So let's use this project plan template to get started. Now, I have personal experience of the drastic improvement from working in Confluence Server to Confluence Cloud. Before working at Atlassian, I worked at Lucid Software, the makers of Lucidchart. We used Confluence daily to document processes and share knowledge across teams. But I noticed that oftentimes creating, updating, or editing pages in the server was clunky. The formatting wasn't as precise as I'd like, and I couldn't collaborate in real time with others. Then I was hired by Atlassian and learned that all 6,000 plus employees at the time I joined were all using Confluence Cloud. And what a difference that made. It was so much quicker to get started by leveraging templates, I could make pages much more aesthetically pleasing by adding header images and emojis. And it was a much better experience that encouraged me to use Confluence more and keep pages up to date. And since then, Lucid themselves have migrated from Confluence server to cloud. Confluence Cloud's new editor experience allows anyone to create beautiful and engaging pages effortlessly. In cloud, you can customize pages so much that they even look like web pages, like adding emojis and titles and adding cover photos. You can see here, for example, when I go to these headers, I can go in here and insert an emoji, or I can go up top, click add header image. I can upload an, an image that I might wanna use or search for an image and use one of the existing images that Atlassian has to offer. Another tip I like to share is the slash command. In server, you have to use the toolbar for everything. In cloud, enter the slash key and type in the command as a quick shortcut. You could insert live macros with slash commands to quickly add dynamic content, such as action items for your team. You can insert due dates. 
schedule a call forward slash date, set it for this Friday, or insert dynamic macros like Jira issues, Lucid charts, or mirror boards. In server, macros have a dialog box to configure them that covers the whole page, which makes it hard to see what you're changing. You're trying to work, but an edit window is blocking your view, and the updates don't reflect until you publish the page. In cloud, macros update in real time, and you edit, on, you edit them within the page so your view is not blocked and you keep your content displayed on the page. One macro that has drastically improved is tables. I hit port slash table, and it's inserted there. In server, tables had to be adjusted in the editor bar. On cloud, it's so much more intuitive since you can just adjust the tables right on the page, like adding rows, columns, and formatting cells. Now onto collaboration. Like I mentioned, Confluence Cloud was built with collaboration in mind. Pe multiple people can edit a Confluence page at the same time, so you always know you're working on the latest. Editing and collaborating on the same page is easy with inline commenting. You can make inline comments in edit mode. For example, I can have somebody to update the timeline. I can highlight it, hit comment. From here, I can bring in my coworker, Brittany, here and ask her if she can help me update this. Also, publishing is so much easier to find. In cloud, the publish button can be found in the top menu, and you can also publish without notifying watchers. Schedule publish and add a version comment. But new to cloud only is the ability to convert the page into a blog if you would like. Now, I mentioned earlier improvements to the mobile and app experience. With Confluence Cloud, you get the power of it the Atlassian Cloud platform. Our Confluence Cloud mobile app has many more capabilities, while Confluence Data Center app doesn't, like inline comment support, activity feed, reactions, page trees, and more. Now on to apps. Maybe you may have heard some common misconceptions around cloud apps. Someone might say, Atlassian Cloud doesn't have as many apps, or I won't be able to migrate my server apps to cloud, or maybe cloud app functionality is more limited than on-prem. While this may have been true a few years ago, the reality is that cloud improvements are moving fast. And what was true a few years ago is definitely not still true today. In fact, Atlassian Cloud now supports over 2,500 third-party apps and integrations, and we're adding more all the time. And if you need even more permissions, controls, and insights, check out Confluence Cloud Premium. With Premium, you can make better decisions by applying insights discovered with site, space, and page level reports on views and users. Or keep information up to date by using Bulk Archive to file away outdated pages and restore them so content and Confluence is always up to date, relevant, and trusted. And be sure to check out our roadmap to see all the other great upcoming features we have planned for Confluence. Now it's clear to Atlassian we love Confluence Cloud, but don't just take our word for it. Let's hear what others have to say after making the switch to cloud. Petros Kutros at Afterpay said, we were hearing 10 to 15 employee complaints a day about the speed of our on-premise versions of Confluence and Jira. That number went down to zero when we migrated to Atlassian Cloud. Pure speed has been a lifesaver and no more dependence on VPN has been amazing. Kenneth Nielsen at Willow Tree said, we hear from the team that the UI and UX of Jira Cloud and Confluence Cloud are much, much better, sleeker, faster, and more user-friendly. People like to use them more than they did before, which is key. And finally, Eric Raymond from Castlight Health says, Atlassian is no longer just an IT tool. We've seen a couple of non-technical teams run with Atlassian solutions, which has provided them with better visibility into what's happening with our technical teams. And we're making it easy for your users to get up and going in Confluence Cloud with resources like overview videos, in-product tutorials, and Atlassian University courses. Now you might be thinking, how do I even get started in evaluating cloud and assessing migration? We've created the Atlassian Migration Program, which includes all the resources, tools, support, and incentives to make the switch to cloud. From there, you can compare server and cloud and get migration help with our online guides and migration support team. Check it out at atlassian.com slash migration or at the resources linked in this session. And if I had one takeaway for you, it would be to activate your free cloud migration trial. We currently have a limited time offer where you get 12 months free in cloud when you claim your trial before May 15th of 2022. Use the trial to explore cloud and try standard and premium features for free. And thanks for joining. I'm so excited for you to try out Confluence Cloud for yourself and take advantage of everything cloud has to offer you and your teams.